think that's one of the biggest things we've seen in his last three outings. When he gets a little bit of a spot, he's able to go find something where maybe his first couple times out he didn't. Yeah, and I would say this was a good outing, not a great outing, just because he kind of got back to that giving up a couple of home runs. They were solo shots, so usually those aren't the ones that are going to hurt you. But Jack just detailed that inning. Things could have gotten away from him in that fourth inning. He made some big pitches when he had to. I think Herman's going to look back at this one. Location wasn't great with some of the fastballs. And, you know, you got to give credit to the Houston Astros. They do have a good lineup. It is tough one through nine, maybe eight and nine, not so tough. But you have to navigate it. You got to make big pitches when you have to. He did that in the fourth inning. And then the Yankees bullpen covers four innings. To your point, the guys pitched great. And you mentioned the pressure that maybe the Astros felt, especially in that six. Bilek gets into trouble. They bring in a Abreu. Now he's feeling the heat as well. Yeah, and you look at the Astros bullpen in comparison to the Yankee bullpen. Their bullpen has an earned run average of about four. They don't have as many reliable arms out there as the Yankees do. And I just think you look at Herman, yes, you would have loved to get more length from him if you're the Yankees. But when you've had a day off the day before, Aaron Boone's itching to go to that bullpen anyway. So for Herman to give them five innings pitched with three earned runs, he kept them in the game. He did not let that game get out of hand. The Yankees trust their bullpen. They trust their offense. That guides into the win. I'm going to go all the way back to the bottom of the first inning with the Yankees against Zach Greinke. And, you, you know, Stanton hits that two-run home run to give them back the lead. But the way they ground out or grinded out there at bat in that first inning, putting so much pressure on Granke, you felt like they could have scored five or six in the first and put it away. There was an intensity to their at-bats tonight from the first batter of the game with LeMayu that I think is a little bit different than we've been seeing lately against a guy like Granke who wasn't on top of his game, but you have to really make sure he's in the strike zone. The only batter who didn't really do that in the first inning was Clint Frazier. You know, it's interesting you bring that up because Granke is such a good pitcher. We know that. But he's never pitched well at either Yankee Stadium. That happened again tonight. And you wonder if part of it, Jack, was because of the fans. They were hearing the noise. Jose Altuve, when he got introduced, heard the noise. They saw the signs. They felt what was going on. And they never felt that last season because they never played at Yankee Stadium. That's what's interesting about this entire Yankees-Astros situation. And really, the Astros with anyone in Major League Baseball, because of the 60-game COVID season, they never incurred the wrath of the fans that they are getting this year, and they deserve to get it. And yes, there are only five players left on this roster from the 2017 team. So yes, if you're a fan, you're essentially booing the uniform or booing the organization. But fans have the right to do that. The Yankees are angry at the Astros. Their fans are angry at the Astros. And in terms of Granky Bob, he is such a different creature out there he's so quirky I'm not sure if the fans got under his skin I just wonder if tonight was a night where as John said the Yankees really made him work put such good at bats on him I'd give the Yankees the credit if you want to give the the fans some supporting credit absolutely but I don't think it was the fans getting in Granky's head early I just think it was the good at bats I think the one player that the Houston Astro or was affected on Houston was Altuve clearly and it seemed like the Yankee fans he was target number one and you have to think back to 2017 maybe he took an MVP away from Aaron Judge you think to 2019 the home run against Chapman was anything happening during that at bat but I thought Altuve looked a little rattled tonight the Yankee fans came after him definitely made a difference in this ballgame.